All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, in today's video, we got. I think. I think his name is Dory Love. Dory. Dory Love. I think that's his name. Okay, but I think I reacted to a video of his before. However, we got Dory Love, Christian preacher, rebukes and exposes filthy drag queen pedophile. Woo, that's deep. That's deep. Okay, that is deep. Anyways, uh, without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. Okay. I have a question. Yes. What are you going to do when you stand before God and he judges you everyone in here for your sins? Sorry. What are you going to do when you stand before God and you're judged for your sins? What are you going to do? Because the Bible... The Bible says this, but if anyone causes one of my little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better that a large millstone be hung around their neck and they be drowned in the depths of the sea. So this is child abuse to God. And you're going to stand before a holy God. And he's going to tell you, what, what are you going to do when you stand before God and poison these kids' mind? What are you going to do then? The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Perish means to go to hell. Little kids need to believe in Jesus Christ. The Bible says... Suffer. Hold on, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that I had to pause this early. But did, did he just... Did the, the girl just say... Uh, what, 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 what did she just say? It was just right there. Uh, did she just say that we have kids in here? Ma'am. If I'm not mistaken... Isn't this like a drag queen in front of your kid? A man that is dressed like a woman who 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 thinks that he is a woman, but in reality he's a man, and he was born a man, but he's dressed in women's clothes. But we have kids in here now that I'm spreading the word of God. Now we have kids in here. Oh man, this world is ridiculous. I, now I'm spreading the word of God. Now we have. <sighs> okay, Jesus, help me through the video. These little ones need to be raised up in the Lord. These little ones need to be raised up in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Because there's going to come a day when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. The Bible says that. The Bible says that men are men and women are women. And men should dress like women and women should dress like men. This is sin. And the Bible says that the wages of sin are dead. I mean, take today that you all are, he are, are heading for spiritual punishment. Like if you don't turn okay, from the wicked way and repent. This is not the, the Lord has sent me here today to tell you to turn from your wicked ways or repent. Or you're going to stand before God and you're going to be judged. Sir, and you're going to go and forget that you're going to go into the lake of God. You can go and 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 Will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. You can lesbians will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. I have a adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. You're coming to a town of heaven. You're coming to a town of heaven, and you're polluting their minds with your sin. They're coming here willingly. They're coming here willingly. You think this is the appropriate way to dress? You think this is the appropriate way to dress? I'm covered. You you are dressed like a whore in front of children. Are you are you teaching children to be whores? Is that what, are you teaching children to be whores? Is that what you're teaching? What are you trying? What are you trying? Look how you're dressed. Look how you're dressed. Look how you're dressed. If a woman dress like this, you're not a woman. You're a man, sir. Sir, you're a man. If a woman dressed like this, would you have, bro? What? If a woman was to dress like that in front of children, of duh, bro. The fact that you even comparing yourself to a woman is crazy. It, it is ridiculous. You talking about this is a child's event? A child's event? What are y'all taking y'all kids to nowadays? What happened to the days where you take your kid to a park and they play on the swings and they, you know what I'm saying? They enjoy life of being a kid. You guys are exposing your children so young to, to, to people like this. And I know because I was exposed to this at a young age. I was. And it, it, and it corrupted my mind as I got older until I got saved. But, bro, this is ridiculous. You are a cross-dressing 
man, whatever you want to call it, and you're dressing like this in front of children. Like he said, these people will not inherit the kingdom of God. He came to tell you to repent from your sins and turn away from your wicked ways because I promise you, you're going to receive God's wrath. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow, but don't you take it for granted. Don't you even think for a second that God ain't real. Don't you even think for a second that God is going to allow you in the kingdom of heaven when you continue to live in your wicked ways like this. Okay, you are in front of children dressed half naked. I, I Seriously, half naked. You like, and, th and then you think you're a woman. You're not a woman. You're a man. You, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to let the video play out. I'm not going to keep pausing it. Okay, let's go. Man, and, 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 and today I am a woman. Sir, you are a man. You are a man. You have you have male genitalia and you are a man. I would like to And you need to teach these kids about God. You need to teach these kids about God. And you need to repent. And everyone here that brought their children to hear me Because the Bible says, that every no knee will bow here, man. and every God wants to hear. God wants to no, hear. No, he doesn't. And yes, every does. knee will bow and every tongue will bow. You are a child of you, sir. Oh, Lord. You, you're you bringing your kids here. Oh, yeah. so, so watch this filth. You're a child of you. And you are a child of you, too. You are. Actually, the Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his own sin. This is a love message. You are teaching them. It's a love message. It's a love message. The Bible says if you don't know what you're doing, you're doing it in the Lord. Yeah, it's a love message. And stun on what avenue is the street, Satan Street, Satan Drive, on Satan Drive, the, Bible says, the fullness of the world, the name of the street is called Satan Drive, and I'm a child of God, every place is a place for God, every place is a place for God, the Bible says the earth belongs to God and the fullness thereof, so everyone here, everyone here needs to repent, Turn from your wicked ways and accept Jesus Christ to be saved. Amen. There is, that's the only way you're going to be saved. If, if you have a problem with me, you're you can take it up with me. I have a problem. Do not bring it on these people. You have not brought it on these people. I did you not bring it on these people. You came here. I absolutely you did not. You came here to poison the mind you, of children. I did not you hear the poison You came here to poison the mind of children with the confused lifestyle. My confused Kids lifestyle. Kids need to be raised up and, 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 the, and reared in the Lord. You have a problem. God is good. I am dressed. God is good. But we are here no, to celebrate says, love. Man, we are here to celebrate pride. A man pride. should not dress like a woman. We are here to celebrate and inclusion. And you cannot dress like a woman. Okay, well, do you include Christianity? Just an abomination. Do you include Christianity? If, you're, if you're inclusive, it includes, why can't you? Absolutely. Inclusive? Okay, well, I'm here for Absolutely. Christian. Absolutely. I'm, I'm not telling you what not to do. You are right? here. And telling me what I can and cannot do. I'm, I'm, saying, not the Lord says, I'm saying, thus says the Lord. And where is the Lord? Where is he right The now? Lord, the Bible says this. He's all around you. It's like the wind. And preach the gospel to, uh, to, every, to every creature, right? I have made you a disciple so you can spread my muscle to the world. So the Lord and is right here. Thank you the Bible that. says the and kingdom choose, of heaven is within. And I'm going to so choose the kingdom of heaven to within. accept myself this way. If God loves everyone, he is going to love me as Just, I am. He doesn't love everything that you do. He loves he you, but he doesn't love everything that you do. And that's the thing with the enemy, y'all. That that's truly the thing with the enemy. He will make you think that number one, you was born this way, and this is how God created you. So if God loved me, and this is the false gospel that people is just spreading to a lot of people, is hey, God loves everyone. If God loves me, then he will set me for who I am. God didn't create you this way. See, this is the problem. We all have desires. We all was raised and born into a sinful society. We came, we came into a fallen world. So we all have desires that are not of God at times. But it's when you act on your desires that are not of God that makes it sinful. You may have a desire to dress like a woman. But you're acting on it, and this is what makes it sinful. But you having that desire itself is not sinful until you act on these desires. All right, fam. So... I was I was wrong. Okay, in the midst of editing this and doing a little bit deeper research on what I just said about your desires not being sinful, that is false. Okay? That is false. The desires that are not of God, if you have a desire to be with another man and you are a man, or if you have a desire to be with a woman and you're a woman, if you have a desire to do any of these things that are against the word of God, that desire itself is sinful. A lot of times our desire starts within the heart. You know, a lot of times our desire starts within the heart. We come into a fallen world, but it's never too late to go to Christ and ask God to change your desires. When you are so much into his word and you so much into his presence, you will know whether or not your desires are not of him or they are from him. You have a desire to have sex with another person is not sinful because God created sex. But when you act on having sex outside the covenant of marriage, 
that's when it becomes a sinful thing. But that desire of sex itself is not sinful because that's a God given desire that we all have. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. OK, if I ain't, look, I'm sorry, y'all. I just I don't want to lead no one astray. I don't want y'all blood on my hands. Praise the Lord. I'm glad I caught that. Without further ado, finish the join the video. You can ask the Lord to change your desires, to give you a desire that is of him and not of the world. See, I changed my desires and I asked the Lord to, Lord, help me to change my desires and the desires that I have towards men, the desires that I have to be this way. I want to be changed. I want to have a change of desires and that's exactly what happened. I don't have an attraction for men no more. I don't want to be in a in a, in an LGBTQ field no more. I don't want to do that because God gave me the desires of him and not the desires of the world. Granted, I may still have a desire here and there to do certain things that are not of god like lash out on somebody has have a desire to to do something that is just not of him but that desire is not what i used to struggle with which is homosexuality i asked the lord to change me and renew me and restore me and give me the desires of his heart you know what i'm saying i don't want the desires of my flesh but i can't act on my desires that are fleshly I have to act on the desires of the spirit and not the desires of the flesh. You're acting on desires of the flesh, which is causing you to sin, which is causing you to fall short of God's glory. And the devil wants you to do this. This is what the devil wants from you. You, you think that you're giving God what he wants. No, you're giving the devil what he wants. This is what the devil wants. And this is why the moment you say Jesus Christ, the moment you come into places like this and you preach the word of God is the moment that they, you see how soon he said, God and the sins and Jesus, everybody start to bundle up on them. As soon as he said that, as soon as he said that, but if he would have said, God loves you and you're amazing and this and that, and everybody would have been like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And doing all this nonsense, man, come on, bro. We got to be better. I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all got to wake up to the truth. Stop following these false teachings and wake up to truth, truth, sound teaching. That's what y'all need to wake up to, bro. This is the right fact that you, that you came here to the event. Absolutely. God, God came that. here to let okay. everyone turn from their wicked ways. And can you, can you prove that to me? No, but I, I can I can, I can, I can, I can, I can tell you that. There's no, nothing no, better to do than the Lord's work. I thought you said, can I prevent you? Can I prove, can I prove God? Can you prove it to me? Yes, absolutely. Are you, you prove, prove to me? Can you prove to me that he is here to send this message to you? Jesus Christ says that the kingdom of God is within. So hallelujah, I'm here. The kingdom of God is here. Everywhere I go, I bring the kingdom of God. Please 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 not be and now, Could you please not be and now, right here? I'm gonna leave, but now I want I want you to understand that you need to read the Bible. You need to pray. I'm a Jewish. I'm a Jewish person. Well, the, the, so the, I, I will read my Torah. I'm, I'm, I'm very Christian. happy. The Jewish, I'm the Jewish, very, in the Jewish tradition. I'm very happy with who I am. In the Jewish tradition. I'm happy to talk to these people. In the Jewish today. tradition. Make them know everything Jesus is okay. Jesus is the Jewish person. You, you want to believe in God? You need to you repent of your sins. You do that. Sir, you need to repent of your sins. You need to repent of your sins. You go. You take all of that. You're going to stand. You're going to stand before the church because... This and when you is stand not before that welcome. Holy God, he's going to ask you, not what did you do with here. my son? And if you don't have an answer, if you are not sealed by the blood of Christ, you're going to be cast in a lake of fire. And I don't want that for you. Because we love you and we care about you. That's why the Bible says it's better for a millstone to be tied around your neck. I don't know what's going to happen to me, but I know that focus is on the way, and if you want to, you can leave right now. So I think you should go home and reevaluate your life. You should go home because you need something, okay? I am going to pray to Jesus Christ. I'm going to go home and get on my knees. Because and I'm going to pray to my God. I don't need your God. You can pray to Satan, but it's okay. Yes. Satan's a loser. Yes. And, he's gonna and he's going to die. And he's, and he's going to be cast into the lake of fire, too. Please turn on their way. Okay, that's good. Very good. Is this a community center? This is, but it's actually right there. It's a private event. He's paid to rent it. So, once again, so the cops are coming because this is not open. If the cops are coming, then chill. Let them come. Let them come. The Bible says this God shall let the world. That whoever believes in them will not perish, love but have love. everlasting life. Love and the Bible love. says, if you love God, you'll keep his commandments. We repent, lesbians, repent, drag queens, repent, LGBT, community, and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We care about you. We don't want you to burn in hell. And every time you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the Father. Righteously. So, repent, turn from your first way. Believe in Jesus, kids. Don't believe in LGBTQ, but you can go to hell. Kids, if you don't want to go to hell, believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for that dry queen. Jesus died for everyone. But if you don't accept the mercy of Christ, you'll wake up and you'll be going into the lake of fire. Well, then be weeping and gnashing of teeth. God bless you.
Hallelujah. 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 All right. So that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, pretty much it. I, did she just say bye, Felicia? But okay, that was kind of lame. But anyways, uh, yeah, man. This right here, shout out to Dory Love. You know what I'm saying? He always got a lot of powerful things that he say. Or when he go out and preach, man, the man go out and preach like he's, he's bold like a lion, bro. God definitely gave him that spirit of boldness because he go out and he don't care what he, he don't care who's against him. He goes out and he and he showed Christ through him. You know what I'm saying? Every time he talks to someone, you know that Christ is with inside. You know, the Holy Spirit is with inside him because every time he goes out, man, he's spreading the love. She say, I'm sorry. He said that this is not love. I feel like a lot of people, when they when 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 people come out and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, love to them is, oh, Christ, God loves you so much, and he and he loves you, and he and he wants a relationship with you, and you know, um, you know what what did like they want you? I don't know what they want, but th they want you to not say the truth because the truth hurts. Look at Jesus. He walked this earth and he showed love and yet they still hated him. So when they say God is love, God is love, God is love, that's all y'all know is God is love. But do y'all also know God's wrath if you continue to live in your sin? This is the problem. People put God in a box. In religion, they put him in a box. They, 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 they just consist of him as love. That's true. God is love. But when you're when you're not religious and you have a relationship with God, you look at him like a father. So you know that, OK, if I disobey my father, then I know I will receive his wrath. I know that punishment will come my way if I continue to disobey my father. He will continue to give me grace. He will continue to have mercy. But again, if I continue to be disobedient, there's going to get to a point in time where I'm going to receive the wrath of my father. Okay, because God is not just a God that's in a box. It's like, all right, guys, you send your whole life. Like, you're not going to get to the gates of heaven. And he's going to be like, all right, guys, you send your whole life. Come on to the gates of heaven. God is not soft. Y'all better stop playing with God and stop demasculating God like he's some soft, like he's some soft being because he's not soft. God's wrath is going to come upon those people that don't repent and that don't turn away from them from their sins. You may have your struggles, but you have to come to God as a father and say, Lord, Father God, help me. Help me because I struggle in this area in my life. But when you're too comfortable in your sin and you allow the devil to put blinders over your eyes and you just looking like, well, um, God is love. So if he loves me, I'm going to be gay. He loves me. I'm going to be whatever, whatever it is I was born. I'm like, no, bro, that's nonsense. Y'all need to get right with Jesus Christ right now. Stop thinking that God is just love. Yes, he's love. But also know that he's a father. He's a father. Okay. Our father who arts in heaven. That He's a father. He's not just some being that we just pray to and he just give us everything we want. No, God is not that. I look at God like an actual father, bro. I used to look at him like, oh, God is love. He put him in a box in a religious category. But no, God is outside that religious category. That's why we don't follow religion. That's why we need to just have a relationship with him. Okay, we need to have a relationship, not follow religion, because religion will tell you that God is this and God is that. No, God is love, but he also has, he also will bring his wrath upon you if you continue to live in your wicked ways. Turn from your sin. Follow Jesus Christ right now. Believe in the truth and stop following false doctrine. I'm not even telling y'all just to read the Bible, just to read the Bible. No, actually do research. Find the history. Don't just, ah, I don't believe in it. It's just all phony. Who wrote the Bible? Have you even read past Genesis 1-1? Like, I'm just saying, bro. Like, y'all talking so much about the Bible, but have you read past uh have you read past god uh god created the earth god created the heavens and the earth have you read past that god said let there be light and there was light you haven't read past that so how can you even talk any type of stuff about the bible or say how god is this and god is that when you haven't read the full entirety of the not even gonna say the full entirety of the bible but you haven't even read past genesis in the bible i mean let's be real bro but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below uh repent 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 i don't know how many times i have to say repent but bro i'm telling you god is raising up young generation he's raising up prophets to warn you people to repent from your sins turn from your wicked ways so repent now believe in jesus christ follow jesus christ okay follow him man 
Follow him. Have a relationship with him. Stop being a religion. Stop. The religion ain't going to get you nowhere. All is going to get you into this whole this whole legalistic mindset. Have a relationship with the with, with the Father, with the Lord. Have a relationship. I love you guys, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the notifications. Be your boy, Depan. Uh, yeah, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.